Okay. So now I want to calculate the bending moment, and that's actually I want you to remember that the bending moment looks like a triangle. Right. So if I want to find the bending moment at this location, I want to find the bending moment here. It's just equal to this area. That's it. And by the way, the bending moment at this location will be equal to this area. Of course, the negative of. Make sense to you? That's all. So what happens is, if I want to calculate the bending moment, so let us say I want to calculate the bending moment at. So let me write this down. Moment at x. Equal to R one times x if x is less than a, R two times L minus x if x is greater than a. How much simpler can you be? If you calculate R one and R two, you can find R one x, R two x. That's it. Done. It's this area, that area. That's all. So let's look at an example. So suppose I want to calculate the bending moment at x equal to. Uh, 20 this is less than 30 so this means m will be 2100 times 20 since 20 less than 30 done that is 42123 newton millimeters done how about at x equal to 47 that's easy 47 is greater than 30 what's this 30 that's the place where the load is acting okay so this means m will be 900 times l minus x which is 100 minus 47 which is 900 times 53 make sense to you That's all I have to do, man. There is nothing to this. Okay. So any time you have a simply supported beam, so let me summarize this so that we can we can all see it. For a simply supported beam, so I have this situation. R one, R two. F. A. L. So, reaction forces. This is the first one you calculate. R one is F times L minus A over L. R two is F times A over L. Then M of X. You want any location? You want bending moment? That's easy. It's R one times X. If X is less than A, equal to R two times L minus X. If x is greater than a, that's all. Done. Hey, no problem. At this stage, you're thinking, you know, what's a big deal? I got only one force. What happens if there are two or three or four forces? Okay. Remember, our trick is to divide and conquer. Okay. So let us look at the next example. So our next example is going to be. What do you do if there is more than one force? Let's look at a particular case. You got a long beam, simply supported. Okay. Let's put F one. Let's put F two. So this distance, so here to here, it's L. Let's say two hundred mm. Forty-five mm. Sorry, let's make it nice. Forty mm, and let's say from here to here, it is seventy mm. 
That's our problem. Okay? And we want to find out what is M. M of X. That's what we are really interested in. Because ultimately we don't really care about shear force. If bending moments are serious, if the beam is long compared to its thickness, basically speaking, if L is more than 3D, then we can ignore shear forces and focus on bending moment. If L is more than 3D, you are fine. If L is less than 3 times diameter, you have to worry about shear forces. And then bending moment won't matter. Only shear forces will matter. You see what I mean? It's either shear force or bending moment, not both. Most of the time. It's very rare where both of them matter. Okay? So now, so we are really interested in the bending moment. So how do we do this? Divide and conquer, my friends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first think of it as this. This equals plus this so let's calculate this so, the, the things that we can calculate automatically right now uh, is R11. So, I'm going to do this. So, R11 equals. So, let us say F1 is 2 kilonewtons. So, so let, let us make it definite. So, let's do this calculation a little bit later. Let's make this definite. This is 2 kilonewtons, this is 5 kilonewtons. Okay, so R11 will be, you know this, right? So, what I would like you to do is try and see if you can solve each of these problems by yourself. Okay, so what I would like you to do is pause now. If you are watching this video, pause now, compute R11, R21, R12 and R22. So we will do that and then you can see how to how to do the remaining. So R21, F2 is here and that is 70, this is 130. Okay, and F1 is 2 kilonewtons, this is 5 kilonewtons. Okay, so this is fairly straightforward. I'm going to do this and you can check. So, did you pause? Do it yourself and come and look, come and look at it. Let me tell you again. You cannot gain muscles by watching exercise videos. You have to do it yourself. Okay, so here's your last chance. Pause. Try it. Man. Just try it. You know. What's there to lose? Just try it. If you get it wrong, you can see the solution anyway. But just try it. Okay? So here goes. R11 equals 2000 times 160 divided by 200. You see what I mean? F times L minus X over A. Newtons. R22. R12 equals... 2000 minus 1600. Do the other one now, please. If you haven't done this one, do the other one. So, or 1, 2 equals 5000 times um, 
130 divided by 200 or 2 2 equals 5000 minus 3250. So, let us make sure we understand the notation so that there is no confusion. I mean, I do not want you to then come and say what is all this R11, R21 business. So, let us make sure. So, here we go. Okay. This tells you which force. This tells you which location. So, R11 means at the left edge due to the force, due to the first force. R12 means at the left edge due to the second force. R22 means right edge, second force. 1 equal to left, 2 equal to right. Okay. If you do not like 1, 1, 2, 1, you can also put L1, R1 if you like. Okay. So, now we can compute the moment. So, let us say I am interested 